hey look, somebody from NASA's Modern Space Program doing the spacewalk. If that is an irony, I don't know what is. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Astonishers Mount Up Dwarf Planet Planet Planetoid Series Series Theories Mysteries and Conspiracies So they sent Dawn out to Vesta and then Ceres. They're like, hey, best is just a rock. We're like, cool. What about Ceres? He told us it's got a lot of water. And they're like, just wait, man. We're not there yet. We'll get there soon. And I was like, oh, crap. You know, after ice and if I fall this thing, and it fizzles out, you know? Uh, I don't know. So, snap, crackle, pop, fizzle, fizzle, twice. Radiation blast delays NASA spacecraft arrival at Dwarf Planet Series by Elizabeth Howe. You may know her from Gilligan's Island, Ms. Howe. September 17th, 2014. And out of 8 billion people on the planet, 119 of them gave shit enough to Google OnePlus it. Sweet! It's only proper that we start at Asteroid number one, series. Seriously, bro? Yeah. Series is the daughter of Sirius. Series used to be a planet for hundreds of years. Then it got demoted. Then the history books erased why I got demoted. It's in between Mars and Jupiter. Now Jupiter gives off more heat than can be explained. Sun gives off a lot of heat. Mars lost its atmosphere. Earth has life. Sarah's Tons of water. It has an atmosphere. It's got water volcanoes shooting into space. And got a zillion things on Mars. Artists' conception of the NASA Dawn spacecraft approaching Ceres. NASA's Dawn spacecraft experienced technical problems in the past week that will force it to arrive at Dwarf Planet Ceres one month later than planned. So they missed the deadline, agency said in a statement yesterday. And hey, guess what? The Guardian is talking about how, hey, NASA will miss gold to find 90% of nearby potentially dangerous asteroids. Agency's efforts are poorly coordinated and understaffed despite budget increase. Says Report by its Inspector General. NASA will not meet a goal ordered by Congress to find 90% of nearby and potentially dangerous asteroids larger than 460 meters 
NASA will NASA will not meet a goal ordered by Congress to find 90% of nearby and potentially dangerous asteroids larger than 460 feet or 140 meters in diameter. The agency inspector general said on Monday, the shortfall comes despite a tenfold increase in NASA's annual budget over the past five years from four million in 2009 to 40 million. 2014 to track and assess potentially dangerous asteroids and comets. So called, so called. What do you mean, so called, man? Near Earth objects or NEOs, which are the ones that fly within. 28 million miles or 45 million kilometers of Earth. NASA estimates that it has identified only about 10% of all asteroids 140 meters and larger. Given its current pace and resources, NASA stated it will not meet the goal of identifying 90% of such objects by 2020. Alright, so, they're not meeting that goal, so everybody could die. Now, over here, they're not meeting the series goal, which I was excited about for many reasons which I've documented several videos. Controllers discovered Dawn was in safe mode. September... S what? Crap. Really? See? Okay. Controllers discovered Dawn was in safe mode on September 11th after radiation disabled its ion engine which uses electrical fields to push the spacecraft along. The radiation stopped all engine thrusting activities. The thrusting resumed Monday after controllers identified and fixed the problem. But then they found another anomaly troubling the spacecraft. Oh. Science doesn't use the word anomaly much. I guess just when discussing their mistakes and they're gonna be like what a mistake you know it was magic unseen radiation coming from a brown dwarf uh oh what the hell NASA's Dawn spacecraft experienced technical problems in the past week that will force it to arrive at Dwarf Dual Planet Series one month later than planned. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't finish my most exciting year in astronomy part 2 2015 in 
Where did this radiation come from? Could cars run ion engines? Are there electrical fields on Earth? Don's main antenna was also disabled, forcing the spacecraft to send signals to Earth through a weaker secondary antenna and slowing communications. A 53-minute round trip by light speed. That's funny. The cause of this problem hasn't been figured out yet, but controllers suspect radiation affected the computer software. A computer reset has solved the issue, NASA says. The spacecraft is now functioning normally. Wow. So all they got to do is computer reset Fukushima and the radiation problem will be fixed. Good to know. Control delete, turn it off, turn back on. Vesta left and Sarah's middle. Vesta was photographed up close by the Dawn spacecraft from July 2011 to September 2012. 2012. While the best views we have to date of series come from the Hubble Space Telescope taken in 2004 before they reconstituted it. They haven't taken another photograph and the bright white spot is still a mystery. Now here's the deal, man. If dawn breaks, at this point, it's 50-50. But I still got hope in an asteroid fight club. So Dawn is not lost. But if it does get lost, that's the first thing you got to do. I need everybody march down there, turn the Hubble, to Sarah's and zoom in and focus. And if you don't have anybody there who knows how to focus well, I'm a professional focuser. Okay? Sweet. As a result of the change in the thrust plan, that's what she said. Dawn will enter into orbit around dwarf planet Ceres, also known as asteroid numero uno, La Mejor. Asteroid La Mejor? Sweet, awesome, yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Asteroid Fight Club. It's only proper that on a day where NASA gets a failing grade in two different subjects, though technically they are the same subjects. We're talking about asteroids. An asteroid number one. Hey, Northrop Grumman. Everyone's building the James Webb Telescope. Hey, dudes. Why you mad, bro? Yeah.
Vanessa Johnson Star. Draco, Draco, Malfoy. All right, peace out. Expecto Patronus. Yeah, I know. Okay. Alien space underwear in your face. I, Thor of Thor News, be presenting this presentation.